Uh, in this video, I'm going to show how to get Dante Virtual Soundcard, i.e. Dante, from a computer to the M32 or your Mix Labs. So we've got, um, first thing I did was obvious. I took a network out here of, this is our QLab rig here at Nescom. And that thing is patched in. Here comes the EtherCon, and I went through a little dongle, and I'm going into the, ETH, the Dante card on the back of the M32. Okay, so that's the cabling. Over here, I'm going to keep this really short and simple. Uh, I boot up Pro Tools. This is obviously a full-scale Pro Tools H, uh, HD native rig, but um, we're not going to use an HD native. We're going to use a DVS. So you do have to do a search and load up Dante Virtual Sound Card. So Dante Virtual Sound Card. So open that app up. Um, and you'll want to hit the, the start button. It's already been started. Uh, I've already set it to have 48 channels, which is enough buses. You may need to pick its network interface. That was really simple. I clicked on it. There was only one choice. I clicked on it. It's going through the Ethernet port in this rack, but that was easy. And start. Once it's running in the background, I booted up Pro Tools, and I had to, to set Pro Tools to a different playback engine. Pro Tools is playing right now, so let me stop it. And I had to select Dante Virtual Sound Card as opposed to HD Native Thunderbolt, which is what we normally use around here. So I picked Dante Virtual Sound Card. It had to reboot Pro Tools because it had to change drivers. Once it was rebooted, everything is normal over here. Um, you know, your I.O. shows up as Dante Virtual Sound Card. You don't see Pro Tools hardware anymore. Your normal routing is the same over here. I've just opened up this Pro Tools session and I sent the outputs out as I normally would. And they're now sending over Dante channels. I do have to patch the Dante from here to the M32, so that's the next step. So you'll have to open up Dante Controller, which is another Dante app, so look for that on the computer. And I've already done the patches. Essentially, outs are up here and ins are down here. Here's our computer, our QLab rig, and these are the 32, 32 of the buses that we have of the 42, of the 48 available, and I've just patched one to one into the M32. So I've connected the network, and you see the two devices, the QLab rig and the M32. And so they're just going channels one-to-one -one all the way down for the 32 channels that feed the M32. So now, now I know the audio is going over the M32. I go over to the M32, and uh, let's... Uh, I've got something else patched in here. Let's make this Dante instead. So you've got to go over to the routing tab, routing button, and for your block inputs... Instead of local inputs, or what I was showing a moment ago, which was the AES-50 from our TL-251, we go and we pick the card, because it's a Dante card. So I'm going to select Dante card, and I'll select Dante card for all of my inputs. If you're doing a mixed lab where you want to use all 32 Dante, we would pick all 32 Dante here. So card, card. And um, there, it should just work, and I'll press, press play and Pro Tools and confirm. One thing I always do is I go to the setup tabs, and I check my clock source. And our, here at Nescom, we always have the M32 clocking to expansion card, which means it's actually deriving its clock from the Dante card. So I know there's gonna be happy clocking going on. And if I go over here and I just press play, there's nothing fancy about this. Um, we're gonna see if we have some, some Pro Tools meters moving here. I'm like 10 seconds away from beginning of the song, of course, that's how the world works. And look, here we go with all the Pro Tools Dante meters moving, if I turn it up, I'm actually hearing it through the DL251 down there. So I've got a kind of an interesting thing going on where I've got Dante coming into the M32 and I'm playing it out of an, of an IO, another Midas IO. Cool, thank you.